I was, judging by this picture, a reasonably normal child. The record does not tell what I was thinking as I posed with my mother and brother in London in the late 40s. But I looked like a nice, clean little boy, and still did in Ireland in the early 50s. As a prefect at a Belfast boarding school, I had the arrogance that goes with that genre, but I was by that time already considered odd, a turtle man in the turtle-free land of saints and scholars who read every turtle book he could find. At 19, action at last. I spent a summer in the USA, got a Georgia haircut, and had a chance to handle real turtles. People started to ask me why I was so fascinated by turtles. I pleaded arrested development. All kids like turtles, I said, but most grow out of it. But that wasn't good enough. I needed a better answer for me, even if they were satisfied. I decided to investigate not just what I, but what the world thought about turtles. It became a global pilgrimage, an exploration of both exotic lands and the human psyche, and above all, a glorious adventure. Peter Pritchard is, plain and simple, the greatest turtle biologist ever. I can't think of, of anyone who has inspired uh, or influenced more generations of turtle biologists. He was a rock star if you were into turtles. You know, I've spent a lot of my career working with the famous primatologist Jane Goodall, and Peter Pritchard is the Jane Goodall of the turtle and tortoise world. His legacy far exceeds that of probably the rest of us combined. I think it all started when my visiting grandfather from Australia took me to the London Zoo, 1948 or something like that. And I saw lots and lots of things I'd never seen before. Turtles were one of the most important. Well, I went to Oxford then and did a degree in chemistry. And then I realized that Chemistry has no human aspect to it. The zoologists seem to be people who had real adventures, told wonderful stories about fascinating people and everything else. And so I decided to make a shift. He said that he was interested in turtles, which I thought was the most bizarre thing I'd ever heard. I was a total city girl. I was like, no bloody way. This man is nuts. And this is definitely not just one more turtle. It's one of the most peculiar turtles in the world, in my opinion. What really says everything to me is this book. He created the first book where you could actually see the world of turtles. I saw this book when I was a teenager, and it was a huge inspiration for me, as it was for so many other people. When I was 14 years old, the single thing I wanted for Christmas was the Encyclopedia of Turtles. My mother always thought I was reading dirty magazines, but really it was Living Turtles of the World. I read that book until all the pages fell out of it. To me, this really is symbolic of Peter's great contribution to the turtle community. He's really a deep person and he's multi-faceted. Peter wore many hats and knew about the world in a way that most turtle people don't. What you and Sybil have accomplished with uh, your research institute in Florida is truly astounding. 
It's the greatest facility for the study of turtles anywhere in the world. Well, I'm sure that, that, that Sybil didn't, didn't uh, enter that relationship thinking that she was going to be uh, a, a partner in crime in turtles, but certainly she's grown into that role, and she and Peter, again, uh, make such a wonderful team. It's been a wonderful love affair, Peter and Sybil, and it's something to admire to this day. Peter. Archie Carr would be really proud of you. He was your boyhood idol. He was mine, in fact. And we both, I think, tried in our way to, to emulate him, and you succeeded brilliantly. Absolument essentiel dans la protection des tortues dans le monde. Et je vous souhaite un excellent anniversaire. Et je peux dire, euh, tout le monde vous aime. Et moi, je vous aime, Peter, particulièrement. Your contributions have not only been an inspiration to me, but every generation. Peter, you have truly inspired my career. You've, you've been a, a mentor to me in the early days of TSA. You gave me that confidence that we were on the right track and doing the right thing, and that meant so much to me. And truly, Peter, I love you, and uh, happy belated birthday. You have been an inspiration for so many people all over the world, and you continue to be an inspiration. Happy birthday. And you're just lucky if you have an obsession, because an obsession is very happiness-making. It makes you glad to be there and glad to do it. So that got me to a level of, of interest in, in turtles and tortoises that has never let me down since.